Welcome to Dude RV. It's Friday. And that means it's time for another episode of Friday's Fine. I sure appreciate you stopping by. We're going to have fun today. <laughs> A little, little box showed up. Heavy. Yappy actually was out front when, uh, when it showed up. They told her that she didn't need to carry it. They would bring it up to the porch for her. It weighs about 50 pounds. It's not hugely heavy, but heavy enough. And I know what's in it. I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up and then we'll play with it. So let me get set up here to do an unboxing. Not, not the, the best picture, but the box is so dang big. Well, here, I'll just drop it on the floor. Good thing it's not fragile. Uh oh, it's, a, it's empty. There's a box in a box. Have you guessed what it is yet? You gotta be careful what you think about. The more you think about something, the more likely it is to show up in your life. So you only want to, be, as the saying goes, be careful what you wish for. We have instructions to mount. What we have here is bell tent, canvas like bell tent. We have patches in case you get a hole. Some big ropes, big poles. I really like the packaging. It's all the same material. It's all really sturdy. Oh, now that's that's what we're talking about. Look at this. We have got some serious stakeage going on here. All right, so let me let me read the instructions, and we'll go set up a tent. New channel sponsor here at Dude RV to mount. They have two sizes of bell tents. I may not have this 100% correctly set up. First time I've done it, so bear with me. I'm learning as we go here. I think it's set up the way it's supposed to be. It seems like the back wall here is a little bit short. We're missing a stake. So let me find and fix, and then we'll go inside and take a look. Y'all ready to go inside the to mount tent? To mount tent? Now, it is just over six feet tall, right here inside. So there's a, a post, it looks like a, a place to put the a center patch. But that seems to put the post off center. There. We have some okay ventilation. Of course, I've only got two windows open and the wind is over here. We have a nice double screen door. I like, I like
like the screen door i really like the vinyl floor it's actually a bowl i mean you can go you can get four inches of water and you're still going to be dry it needs to be set up look less set up for a while to kind of up so it needs to be it's always good when you when you get a new tent to leave it set up so it can kind of stretch out and the next thing to do is to take it on the road baby we are headed i'm headed out on a on a camping trip up to lake texoma finally some sunshine and just in time too i'm getting ready to take down the bell tent and pack it away but since i have the this beautiful sunlight I, I thought i'd come out here and give you a look since the lighting wasn't so great when i set it up now you can see it in full sunlight and i really like this no seam netting that makes up the door that's, that's heavy duty stuff there's the interior of the tent i'll see you at the lake talking about the to mount tm to mount bell tent we have traveled north to where are we we're in oklahoma burns run west on the north side of lake texoma and i have pitched camp didn't take nearly as long this time to set up the tent in perspective because as you can see we got <laughs> we got some wind blowing uh, or, and I gotta tell you, this was the easiest tent to set up in the wind that I've ever done. Uh, once I've got it positioned and put the pole in, it just it inflated by itself. I had it already staked down to the ground so it wasn't gonna blow away. Let's take a look inside. Ha! Ah, it's nice to get in here out of the wind. There's plenty of room for my cot my CPAP machine I'm gonna be putting up a, a table so that I can work on the computer because it is just so windy I don't want to be outside <laughs> I need a break from the wind but man I really like this tent because as you can tell it, it 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 doesn't pop in the wind and I can look out the front door i like it the to mount this is de if you're looking for a good tent you know the the canvas tents they, they tend to be a little bit more pricey but there's a reason and that's because they're more substantial this thing's not going to be popping in the wind and we've got a, a chance of rain tonight i'm gonna be dry i, I think it's, it's a heck of a value good morning spent the whole night slept pretty good in the to mount t-o-m-o-u-n-t to mount tent this, this cool little bell tent something i discovered last night that was a total surprise to me is the guy the the cables the cords actually have reflective material so when you're walking around at night with a flashlight boy those things jump right out at you now the the tent it's tight uh, even with the the wind blowing yesterday inside the tent you really couldn't tell it's almost too tight i said almost i did have to have the fan 
to keep air circulating last night because it was a little bit stuffy humid when I went to bed. You will want to plan on having a fan during the, the warmer season. During the, the winter, I, I'm excited about winter camping with this tent. It is, it is fantastic. And getting in and out is a, a bit of a challenge because I have to stoop over. But inside, there's there's plenty of room for it for two people at easy. I can see a, a family of four, two adults and two kids sleeping in this tent without any issue at all. I encourage you to check it out. Link is in the card above as well as in the description below. Hey. I really appreciate y'all sticking with me to this point. If you found some value in this video, please give me one of those thumbs up. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you've not already, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I do what I do. That's, that's why we're out here. Looking at this beautiful lake. Camping at Lake Texoma. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful. Thank you. You rock. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear?